outside. So I brought him home from the vet because the bill I couldn't afford to let him stay because the estimate was close to 2000 I'm sure it would have been 2000 when the taxes were added. So every hour I'm just doing Pedialyte. Come on. It's that time. You gonna open up? I can't even see your face because you're so adorable. Anyway. No crying. Face up. Up, up. Up, up. Go. Come on. Come on. Open up a little. There we go. That. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Come on. Keep it going. That's a good boy. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good boy, good boy. Come on, bud, do it. Come on, you're not doing anything. That's a good boy. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Good boy, good, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Keep it going, butter. Come on, more and more. Come on, a little bit more. Oh, that's my baby. Good boy. Very good boy. Making mommy happy. Is that good? Hmm? Is that good Pedialyte? Yeah? You're a good boy. How loves you? So I give him Pedialyte and I give him some liquid protein and uh, he just had his medicines about 10 minutes ago. This is what told me that something different was going on. This is from the fever. They checked his ears. There's nothing wrong with his ears, but he's twitching. Yeah. Crying, bud? No cries, please. No crying. He has some pain medicine, so he won't be in pain. He has nausea medicine so he doesn't throw up anymore. What else? Antibiotics. You got antibiotics? He's got some kind of powder that's supposed to help his intestines and stomach to calm down. And uh, one more thing. What is it? One, two, three. I don't know, there's four or five of them. So they put um, saline under his skin. Since I couldn't afford the IV, they put, like, he had a hump on his back when we came home. And then that was to be absorbed into his body and help him not to be dehydrate it, but I guess an IV is very expensive. So instead of doing an IV on him, they put it under his skin. I know I've done that with kittens when I used to have a pet shop. I know you can put normal saline under their skin and then it, they'll, uh, it'll absorb and help them not to be dehydrated. So that is what they did for him today. They took some x-rays, they did blood work, and they recommended that he stay there because he has not eaten in over a week, so, or drank on his own. Since he hasn't been drinking on his own, I started doing the syringe thing. Um, I have a bigger syringe, but it seems to be leaky, and he does not like to be dirty. So, uh, the bigger syringe is two teaspoons out of whack. That's the one I've been using. But because I know it upsets him to get wet or be messy, I went back to the little one. 
and I'll just do a bunch of those to make up for the so altogether he gets about four teaspoons an hour of Pedialyte and the protein water but anyway you just got to do what you can a friend called me and told me that there might be a vet that is cheaper but they're not open on the weekend uh, so tomorrow I will give it's like I think it's homestead or something she said I'll give them a call and explain to them what's been going on and see uh, see what they say so anyway this is bud he has his own Facebook page for a year or so uh, the Maltese Falcor like Falcor from uh, the never-ending story so he's the Maltese Falcor but uh, I haven't been keeping it up as much as I used to he's my sweetie it's so weird that since he's been sick his hair has been knotting up like it doesn't usually not so easy but since he's not feeling well he is just getting so many mats it's weird very weird like they're all in here I was brushing them out last night I don't know why it does that he's a good boy every time he gets too quiet I stop and I look to see if he's breathing he's breathing I think that's paranoia definitely that's paranoia last night he was so quiet I thought he was gone and I I lost it because he wasn't even getting up like normally I'll say like buddy do you wanna and that he usually actually stands up when you say do you wanna because he knows something is happening he didn't do anything he didn't open his eyes my dad asked him if he wanted ice cream and uh no the word ice cream usually you see those eyes ice cream is his jam but See, in a normal day, if you even mentioned the word ice cream, he would have booked off this bed, ready, like, ready for it. Like, okay, you, you said the word, let's go get some. But no, but at least he opens his eyes, right? Pretty soon you'll have some ice cream, right? Yeah, pretty soon. A couple more days, maybe. It's so sad that I made him hamburger meat. He wouldn't touch it. I made him boiled chicken. He wouldn't touch it. He loves milk. I poured him a little tiny bowl. We, we call it milkies. And you say, do you want some milkies? And those that's his favorite. And uh, he went over to the bowl of milkies and smelled it and walked away. It was very sad. Right, bud? Anyway. Be careful what you let your pets eat, or even if it's by accident. Onions and garlic, dangerous to dogs and cats. And, I mean, most of the time they get a little bit, like they eat a piece of pizza. You know, they get a little onion or garlic on that. It's not much, but this soup had pureed onion in it and pureed garlic. It was a restaurant recipe for my soup kitchen. I hold a soup kitchen and I give soup and casseroles away to people who are hungry. And so this soup had pureed onion and pureed garlic. I mean, it was a really delicious soup. It was a ham and bean soup and it was for the needy kind of thing. And normally I make Buddy and I ham and bean soup, but I don't put any of that in it because I know what he can have. I totally forgot that the one I put in the freezer was some leftover from the restaurant style. And I didn't realize what it was until two days later when he wasn't getting better. 
one day of a pukey here and there is nothing big because dogs and cats every once in a while, you know, they get a little brop, bleh, you know, and you're like, oh, they got an upset stomach. So the day two, I thought, wait a minute, something's not right because, you know, that's a little bit unusual for him. And that's when I, the, the light came on and I remembered about soup that I had made. And he probably had about two cups of that soup. It had really mushy beans. Beans, if they're not cooked really well, are hard for dogs to digest. But they were really, really soft. Um, anyway, ham and beans, you know, it has ham in it. He was all over that. Anyway, he had about two cups of it. And this is what happened because of onions and garlic. So, if you follow my channel, you know how much Buddy hates to have his picture taken or to be on video. It's a running joke on my videos how he'll run away or he'll just stop and act like he's a statue. He'll stop. He could be like playing and happy. You turn the video camera on, and he stops like a stop sign's just been put up. And so if he was himself right now, he would have gotten up and left the area. He would have definitely, this would, he wouldn't be here. He would go sit on his wheelchair, well, it's my wheelchair, but he's taken it over. Or he would go hide under the bed. He hates to be on video. I think he hates the HD lighting. But he definitely, he would never, ever allow this right here. He always makes me so sad because he'll be running around 